Hello, this is Kenny DeMercy from Utah State University. Today we're going to learn how to deal with RTK base data in like a Geomatics office. We will demonstrate how to create a project, apply a coordinate system, import RTK base data, export a RINEX, obtain an opus correction, and apply the opus correction to the base, and then eventually all of the rover data. So down here is my LGO icon. Double click that. And notice we have a management menu and a tools menu. So in the management menu, select projects. It opens up the projects area and right click anywhere and then select new. And browse to the location to save your project. Um, this job is in Curtis Creek. It's going to go on my C drive through a file folder path, Curtis Creek and LGO folder. You can see I have a DBX folder with the data that we're going to use, and also an Opus folder. That's where our uh, Rhinex file and report will go. This is Curtis Creek. Uh, the years, uh, what, 2011? Uh, and it is GPS data. And these five centimeter values um, will, if there's any error values over five centimeters on the data coming in, it will be flagged. Time zone. Go ahead and run through all of these. Set your coordinate system here. UTM 12 North, GOA 12A for this uh, project. Background images we don't use in LGO. It's a waste of time. So check all the different tabs and then select OK. You can see it created the project in the list. Check your coordinate system, looks right. Now the project is open. Basically it's just a place for all the data to go. There's three tabs, points, GPS, and view edit that we'll be using today. So now we go to import raw data select one of the DBX files. You can browse of course here in my DBX folder 0650. That is the serial number just like 0406 is a serial number. So if I go to my GPS tab I can see uh, benchmark 100 was used at the base the duration was 4 hours and 13 minutes and there's some other data here as well so check each tab and make sure you assign or select what project to assign the data to sometimes it will default to the last used not necessarily the current so make sure you highlight your project and assigned now if I was importing this from an external source like a flash drive I would want to save it using that button save it to my C drive in this case it's already saved on my C drive so this is the view edit window and you can see there is the point we can right click look at the properties okay So now what we're going to do is we're going to export a RINEX. But before we do that, we have to go to the Properties tab. So I went to the GPS Processing tab, highlighted my benchmark or base point, and then Properties. And you need to know three things from this window. The duration, the antenna type, and the total vertical height not the height measured in the field this was measured in the field there's an offset to get to the total vertical height so right 
down 1.338 the antenna type and the duration because we will need that information for the opus correction and then select OK on that GPS processing tab right click on the base point export to Rhinex and check your settings here um, browse to the location save okay We're going to select the O file. If you look at the size, it's the largest file. And there's two sets here because I've done this before. <laughs> All right, so just select the largest file, which is the O file. And then the antenna type it was. So there's a whole list here. If you select L, it'll go down to Leica. And then it'll say LEIAAX1202GG. Is it 1202? Yeah, 1202. Yep, there it is. Height above the mark was 1.338. We wrote that down. Where you want the report sent. Okay, options. Don't worry about options. Okay, just leave it in the default settings. You could select the core stations that you want to use, uh, but don't do that for our purposes. Now, upload to static because this survey, or er, there was about four hours worth of base data. So, two hours to 48, that would be static. All right. Oops. So we'll take a timeout while we wait for the Opus correction to be returned. Okay, I received the Opus report and we're looking at it now in Notepad. And if we scroll down, you want to make sure of a couple things. One, that you got the antenna type correct and also the antenna height correct. X1202GG is correct. 1.338 is correct. So here's our northing and easting in UTM. Zone 12 it tells us this was in zone 12. That's good. And we will also use the ellipsoid height. And this data was processed using the geoid height. And with the ellipsoid height, the geoid height, you get the orthometric height. But we are actually using a different geoid. So we won't take this orthometric height, but we will take this ellipsoid height. So back to LGO. Uh, we will go to the points tab, highlight the base point, right click, properties, go to the estimated tab, and then select local grid. And okay, now we will enter the values from the Opus report. And if we look at these differences, usually it's about one to three meters. Got 60, 18, 60, 19, and 33, 19, 33. Yeah, this is about a meter. So 6018444. 6018.444. And east. 
16, 19.910. And then ellipsoid height, 1693.985. Make sure this is on ellipsoid, not a met orthometric. It was 16.93 point something. 985. We will verify those. 6018444. Okay. Now that you have those values, select apply. Okay, you can check them here as well. Now we want to go to Tools, Compute Geoid Separation. It's computed the geoid separation and applied the orthometric height. So now I want to right click Properties, change this to Control, Apply, Okay. So now these values can't be changed. So I better verify them one more time. And if you look at the orthometric height, it's actually the same in this case. It just means that this location, geoid 12A and geoid 12B, are the same. So we're doing really good here. All of our values um, look correct. Our northern, easting, ellipsoid height and it just happens that the ortho height is the same with the two different geoids. So that's it. The base is all set up now. In the next video I'll show you how to import the rover data.